Okay everyone, just starting day two of painting on Trenton's IROC. Uh, yesterday I painted some of the parts here. Some of the ground effects, uh, his back deck lid, and the bottom side of his hood here. Uh, a couple things I learned in this process here was uh, scotch bright. We scotch brighted the bottom of this hood to get in all the nooks and crannies. We blew the hood out several different times. We wiped it with wax and grease remover. We tack cloth it. Uh, we've done every step a person could possibly do, I would think, to get every bit of dirt and dust and stuff out of it. And when I put the first coat of sealer down, I immediately could see pieces of Scotch Brite in the sealer. So, but most of that stuff ended up out in this area out here. And he is going to get the insulated pad to put in the bottom of this hood again. So most of that'll be covered, but. It was a little disappointing to see that. Um, we tried everything we could to make sure all that stuff got out, but it still finds its way out. You know, it, there's so many little nooks and crannies underneath the bottom side of a hood. But we made sure all the edges were really good and clean. Um, I got some good clear on all the edges all the way around. So when the pad is on, you know, the center of that hood is gonna get covered anyway. So, um, so that's the bottom of the hood. We'll mask it off. We'll flip it over to do the top side of the hood today. Here's some of his other pieces here, the ground effects. Uh, I think one of these is a spoiler here. Um, and then back here is his deck lid. Now we had a major issue with this thing. I put the first coat of sealer on and immediately I could see fish eyes. So instead of standing there trying to figure out what was going wrong, took a wet rag of lacquer thinner, wiped all the sealer off immediately, got all that bad stuff off, we uh, re uh, used wax and grease remover again on it, and then re tack cloth that sprayed it again, and it went well the second time. So um, I guess the lesson on that is something don't look right in the paint, just wipe it off right away. Don't let it dry. Don't stand there figuring out what went wrong, because it's not going to get better. So wet rag, lacquer thinner, just wipe it off. And then uh, it's a lot easier to start over than letting it dry and then you're back to sanding and so I guess if I can teach anybody anything that's it uh, so the rest of the car is all block sanded I'm gonna start uh, masking that this morning it's five in the morning right now um, so I just got out here and uh, so I'll start masking on this I, we started a little bit uh, yesterday before we painted these parts we went around and started taping off some of the holes um, I started back back masking some of the door jams and stuff and get my uh, tape line going and then then we'll start adding the paper and stuff so add a lot of extra lighting in here for uh, for the painting uh, I put some big spotlights everywhere around here uh, to be able to put some good light on the car I got fluorescence in here and uh, I get a lot of shadowing because of the fluorescence so I added all these spotlights I got pretty much one in every corner facing the car and I kind of tested things out by walking around the car and I can step out of my shadow so they'll definitely help for the painting so but that's where we're at um, I did paint a couple of the parts last week and just kind of testing the color to make sure that my uh, sealer and the paint were gonna look okay so you can see on my test board back here the sealer I used a white sealer and I had it tinted to uh, it's a shade of pink um, I could put down basically one coat of sealer and then I'm putting two coats of red, the color on top of that and it's covering really good. And then I'm doing three coats of clear on top of that. So I do have some specs in the paint. Um, I mean, I'm painting in a, I got a 2,400 square foot shop here. We've de-dusted, we've cleaned, we've blown it out, we've swept, we've mopped, we've eliminated about anything we can out of here that would gather dust, but it's still, it's a shop. Um, it, you know, you're gonna get a, a paint job of what you can end up with in a shop like this So <clears throat> I do have some dust in there uh, We'll end up uh, wet sanding and buffing everything and a lot of it will come out, but you know it, it is what it is and I don't have a spray booth and so to be able to get this car painted at a spray booth is way beyond our budget, so um, We're able to do all this and save a lot of money by doing it ourselves. So but so that's where we're at uh, we'll paint the car today uh, and then tomorrow I'll do the front and rear bumpers I'm just kind of saving uh, the bumpers towards the end in case I get low on product and uh, 
so I, I don't want to run out in the middle of the car. I'm pretty sure I did my math right. Uh, I should have enough product, but I didn't want to run out on the car, so I'm just saving the bumpers for the end, and then uh, I'll hang them somehow. But uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, the next video, the car should be all red. Thanks.